Hello boys and girls and welcome to Electronic Box. As I see it, more and more this channel goes into a sort of negative forum, critique and always smashing some brands in the face with the awful truth. If you think that way, you are totally wrong. And I'll explain why. Nowadays, there is no 18% grey card, I mean, in life. To be honest, even in photography, this tool is no longer in use. Cinematographers lately just say one of the two phrases. I just lift my shadows for less noise, which is a black point, or the second good one, I just use zebra to protect the highlights, and that's the white point. Guess what? They always see everything in black and white. Or for many people like you and me, it's almost the same. There is also either white or black. We strongly love and we strongly hate. Let's say a product or a person. This is, I guess, normal in 2023. I don't know why it is like that, but it is what it is. And I am sure that it is almost impossible lately to find a real quality in a product. Top brands like Apple or Mercedes have a million things that scream this is bad and need fixing right now, but they don't care. I'm starting this way not to apologize, but to slightly move you in the direction of today's monologue and the subject that is USK, the well-known Scandinavian company. Before we continue, I want to let you know that I like this brand a lot. And many of their shops are super nice, with great products and so on. I'm not here to bash or slam such a company. I'm here today just to inform other people of what to look at and how to think twice before connecting with Yusk or another similar company. Around four months ago, I got a request for a Bulgarian voiceover for Yusk shop. I took this project and I did my job properly. The other side was very happy with my performance and they even offered me a contract. Now things become interesting, so bear with me. The contract mentioned that the contract period is five years and in that time I have to record X amount of projects a week for X amount of cash. So far so good, okay? Let me continue. After that, in the same contract it was mentioned that I have to return every single project for one to three hours maximum on the same day. As a trained and long in the business voiceover artist, I know from experience that only the translation and company decisions sometimes took months, but they forced me to do my job for just an hour. Not only that, but they wanted my price to stay the same for the five long and expensive years. Every single month, they can raise their shop prices, but I can't gain more income. If I signed their contract, something else? Well, yes. In the same contract, it was not even mentioned anything about my health condition. Like uh, what we do if I'm ill or if I have a flu. No such thing. They still expect my return time to be one hour. That's why I simply changed their contract and I told them that if they ask my services, they have to agree with my version of the contract. And my version was almost the same. It just included a point for illness and one day delivery period, which is super fast, by the way, in the voiceover industry time frame. They told me that this is not possible. So I refuse to accept their rules. Don't get me wrong. I really want to work with such a big client, but not at every price and not while sacrificing anything else just to get the client. I can't say for sure that this was directly ordered and discussed with Yusk. Maybe it was another company that deals with their advertisement, but that was my own experience while trying to cooperate with them. And if the Yusk team watches, they really have to think again who is the middleman in a similar campaigns. Maybe they should try more realistic and human-friendly approach next time. I'm sharing all this because only on this YouTube platform I can be myself and to really share what happened. There is no other way to stand against similar bad practices. You as users can make your judgment. I don't want anything from Musk. I just want the whole world to hear 
how they manipulate the so-called partners and content creators and how they force them to work as slaves without changing fees for the five-year contract. This obviously is not illegal, but it is definitely against democracy. The term that is real only on paper. There is no country in the world where the democracy is live and real. If you know such company, please do let me know and I will seriously consider immigration. Or if you have a Bulgarian project that needs native speaker that will do the work professionally, you can consider me. To contact me, please visit www.bulgariansound.com. I hope that this episode was an eye-opening experience for you. And next time, when a big company forces you to sign a similar contract, please think twice. From me, Nico, be well, keep the right mood, love the relatives and people around you. Peace.